Hi everyone, welcome to my bathroom. I know it's not the most glamorous setting right now. I'm literally sitting on my toilet seat right now and the lighting is a little bit off and dark, but I really want to do this video for you guys because it's been so long since I've done a get unready with me routine and the weather is changing. It's getting a little bit cooler and I decided to put this routine together that I've been using consistently and that I've been loving. And I think this video is going to pique your interest because, you know, these are brands I rarely talk about, but I've fallen in love with and I think you guys will too so let's get started so first things first let's talk about yes cleansing and you guys know that I'm a self-proclaimed double cleansing queen slash fanatic but I actually fell in love with a product that really helps minimize my skincare routine and do my cleansing step in one go and that is a serious cleanse me softly milk cream cleanser it literally has the consistency of milk cream look at that and what I love about it is that it removes all those simple impurities like sunscreen, BB cream. You know, it has a really nice consistency on the skin. See that? And it really makes your skin soft and clean without stripping your skin. If you have a full face of makeup, it's probably not the best cleanser for you and you'll probably need to do a double cleanse but for those simple days where you just want to simplify your routine and you didn't really put on a lot of makeup this is a perfect cleanse for you it's made with macadamia oil and aloe and broccoli extract and it doesn't have any fragrances so i love this cleansing step so I just washed everything off and now I have very clean, soft sleeve to work with. I'm gonna jump into my toning step. This is a Then I Met You Birch Milk Refining Toner. And I've been talking extensively about this toner because so many people have been writing reviews and DMing me personally about how this has helped their acne journey. So if you're dealing with bumps, breakouts, hormonal acne, if you use this consistently morning and night, you're gonna see wonderful things happen to your skin. If you want to check out the DMs, go to my Instagram at Charlotte J. Cho and go to the highlights and I've listed kind of everything people have been experiencing. So the way I use the Bridge Milk Fine Toner is just add a few drops into the palm of my hand and then I splash it and pat it into my skin, especially in the areas that I have breakouts or large pores. So along the jawline and along the nose. And the reason why this works so wonderfully is that it has 1% chemical exfoliants, so HAs and PHAs, and it really helps to clean out your pores and prevent breakouts. But it's also coupled with 80% birch juice, which makes your skin so hydrated, your skin barrier so healthy at the same time. I love that as my second part of my routine. So while my skin is still damp from the toner, I'm gonna to go straight into my essence step. And many of you have been asking for this brand on Soko Glam for many years now, and we finally cured it to Soko Glam, and since then, it's been a bestseller for sure. This is the Mugwort Essence, which is quite literally made out of 100% Mugwort extract. And I love this ingredient. If you guys are new to Mugwort, it's a very popular traditional medicinal ingredient in Korea, but it's also now super popular in K-beauty and skincare because it's so great for sensitive skin. And it also is rich in antioxidants. So if you're sensitive and you just want a very healthy, glowing, bouncier skin, you've got to try the I'm From Mugwort Essence. I love how essences are made with such potent ingredients. I'm using the same technique as the toning step where I'm just patting it to my skin. Remember, you gotta treat your skin very, very delicately when you apply. Don't slather it on and make wrinkles unnecessarily. Just tap it gently onto your skin. It does have a, just a smell of mugwort, so um, it's natural though, and there's no nothing artificial about this essence. And I love the bounce that my skin gets after I use it. So after your essence step, if you're looking to pamper yourself and have a little self-care sesh, I highly recommend these Dermatory Azuline Zika pads. They're so nice because they're saturated in Zika, which is one of those popular ingredients in Korea meant to really calm and soothe your skin. And these little gauze pads you could place anywhere on your skin, dry patches, areas that are red and irritated, or you have fine lines, and you can pat the serum all over. You could even use this as a replacement essence step. And these are hugely popular in Korea, and I can totally see why. So the next step in my routine is something I'm super, super excited about because I never talk about this ingredient, retinol. 
So retinol and K-beauty usually don't mix. Honestly, a lot of K-beauty brands are not really interested in, in infusing retinol into their products for some reason. But Dr. Different is a brand that has definitely stepped up to the plate and they've created such gentle retinol formulations and I love it. So this has 0.05% retinol and I like to apply it on my eye area as an eye cream just as this product is intended and apply it on my neck as well. They even have different formulations that we created on Zogo Glam. They have different percentage of retinol and then that can be used um, in other places uh, on your facial skin. So this is particularly for eye and neck and there's one for other parts of your face. So if you're interested in retinol and K-beauty, check out Dr. Different. And then to finally round out my routine, I'm gonna be locking in all of those great ingredients that put on my skin with a moisturizer. This is the brand Oliveri. This is our Comfort Barrier Cream. I'm a big fan of this brand. I just love the formulations. I literally am almost, almost done with their Wash Off Barrier Relief Cleanser. Um, and this has been my saving grace for last winter when it was super, super cold and I use it all over my body actually. So I love the Comfort Barrier Cream. It's a good formulation. And I like to apply it all over my skin like this, spread it out evenly, gently pat all over my facial skin and my neck, of course. And to close out my routine with something sweet, I'm gonna be using the Then I Met You Honeydew Lip Mask. This has a nice silicone tip. It's made also with squalene, the moisturizer has squalene, and this has squalene, plus it has lactic acid, which is gonna help exfoliate my very, very flaky lips. And I put a nice coat on my lips so that it has a super nourishing effect and bouncy effect the next morning. All right, that's the end of my routine. I hope you guys got introduced to a lot of cool products for this video. I hope you enjoyed my tips and just chatting with me in general. I'm gonna do more videos like this in the near future, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much. Good night.